Hey, Katie! What do you think you're doing wearing another woman's wedding dress like that? Get out of my room right now! What? <laughs> what the heck are you all upset about? Stop playing dumb with me right now! I've already seen what you just posted online about you in that dress. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so you really do follow all of my accounts online then, huh? That's because you came to me the other day bragging about how you made it to 10k followers on there. I wanted to know what you were posting on there that got you so many followers, and that's where I found you wearing my wedding dress. It's too late now for you to try deleting all those photos. I would never delete my most popular posts. <laughs> Some of them have close to 3,000 likes on them. I knew that posting some pictures of me as a bride online would get me a lot more likes. <laughs> what do you think you're doing wearing my wedding dress like that without my permission, though? That dress is not cheap, and yet you're wearing it all the time. Are you mental? Listen, I started wearing it because it looks really good on me. <laughs> and I just knew that by posting pictures of me in that dress online, I'd get loads of likes from all my followers. <laughs> So you're taking my dress and wearing it just for the likes? Well, considering I'm an Instagram influencer, I think getting the most likes I can on my posts is a part of my job. All of my followers want to see my luscious body and only the cutest clothing, like your wedding dress. That's why I've been borrowing it for that purpose. And when it comes to the dress, I'm sure it's happier to have a beauty like me wearing it instead of being worn by such an ugly duckling like yourself. So don't get so worked up over it, please. D did you just call me an ugly duckling? Who else would I be calling that besides you, Rebecca? Compared to such a sexy woman like me, you look more like a man than a woman. In other words, there is no better way to describe you besides ugly duckling. Huh? I really do feel so sympathetic towards you, Rebecca. You've had to grow up with someone as gorgeous as me all your life. And because of my face being as wonderful as it is, you look even more ugly than if you just had a simple younger sister. But hey, because of your ugliness, you make me look even better. You're calling me a tool then now? Katie, you cut that attitude out right now. I get that in the past you would make fun of me a lot. But what you've been doing now just to get more likes and more followers is really starting to piss me off. If it's so hard for you to live with the truth, why not try making yourself as cute as me? I'm sure if you put around 50,000 into plastic surgery, you could start to look like a better put together woman. Excuse me? Oh, that's right. I just remembered something really good. I think it would be great if I went ahead and had a wedding as well. I mean, nobody wants to see someone as ugly as you in a wedding dress, right? <laughs> Screw you, Katie. What makes you think you need to be taking over my special day to have a wedding? If you want to get married, find yourself a man and make your own date for it. Well, if you let me have your wedding, then it wouldn't have to go to waste, right? <laughs> you can try starting the plastic surgery now, but I don't think you'll be healed in time for the wedding. <laughs> and when it comes to your fiancé, I'm sure he'd rather have his wedding with someone good-looking and fun, right? <laughs> also, I just really want to try having a wedding here soon. I bet if I started to post all kinds of photos from a wedding that I'm in, I'd get close to 10,000 likes on them. <laughs> huh? All you want to do is use the wedding so that you can get likes then? Do you have any idea what a wedding is actually about? I was just joking a little there. You don't have to get that butt hurt over it. You ugly ducklings really can't take jokes now, can you? You can't call something that's not funny a joke. Anyway, I just want to make sure that you never go into my bedroom again. You're not even getting married soon, so stay out of my wedding dress. Coulson, where are you at right now? What's going on with you? Well, I'm in my room right now, so why are you acting all worked up? Why are you lying to me right now? I am in front of your room right now. What? You're not answering the doorbell, and when I tried to use the duplicate key on the door, it didn't work. And just a second ago, the landlord came out and told me the man in this room moved away already. What the hell is going on here, Coulson? Where did you run off to? Why on a day like today would you be going to my place? I went through all the trouble of hiding this from you by moving out of there. I had something going on close by to here. 
So I just thought it would be a good idea to stop by and say hi before I went home. That's when I learned you moved out, Coulson. What the hell? Explain what you're doing to me right now. Asking me to explain myself now? Our wedding is tomorrow, Coulson. So why would you be moving away and into a new place the day before our wedding? Shut up! Your fiancé moved away the day before the wedding, alright? Think about that for a second, please. I don't want to get married to you anymore. That's why I ran away while I still had time. What did you say? I can't get married to you anymore. And that's because I found someone else that I really want to marry now. That is why tomorrow's wedding is cancelled. Starting today, I'll be living with Katie over at her place. Huh? Y you hold on for one second. K Katie? Do you mean my little sister, Katie? Oh, that's the one. I now want to get married to your little sister, Katie. But I'm sure that both you and your parents would be against such a marriage as this. That's why I moved away with her in secret. Her and I want to marry our true love, and that's why we ran off with one another in the night. S so you both ran off then? No way. You're lying, right? And you've run away with my... my little sister? Your fiancé's little sister! I'm real sorry, Rebecca, but I'm kind of over being with you. She has my heart in her hands now, and there was nothing I could do about this. Which means there's no more love left in me for you. Figure out some way to forget about me now, please. I, I, I can't believe this, Coulson. Screw you. How the hell am I going to forget about something as insane as my fiancé leaving me the day before our wedding? Please, don't do something as stupid as that and come back to me. All that would happen if I went back to you is you getting a settlement from me. Who would want to go back to you knowing something like that will happen? <laughs> You're a dick. Not even having the balls to take responsibility for your actions now? I even went ahead and quit my job in order to be able to run away with the girl I love now. I have to hang on to my savings now and not let them fall into your hands because I have a woman to marry and not enough money for anyone else. Now you have a good one, Rebecca. As for the cancellation of tomorrow's wedding and the explanation to everyone, you handle all of it, please. <laughs> you frickin' asshole. You've really done it this time, laying your hands on my man. I never thought you were this bad of a sister until today. Don't call me a bad little sister. All I did was the thing I told you before that I'd be doing. Why are you blaming me for something you never prepared for? Huh? When did you ever say you'd be stealing my fiancé away from me and running away? A little while back I told you something like that. Back when I was just trying to have some fun putting on your dresses for likes. You told me that I'm not even getting married so I shouldn't be wearing your dress. And as a response to that I told you that your fiancé would be happier with someone as sexy as me in that dress. In other words, what I was saying is that in order to become a bride, I had to wait for him to come to me. <laughs> Excuse me? Back when I was posting all those pictures of me in a wedding dress, everyone was commenting on them and making me feel oh so good. And that last photo I posted got over 5,000 likes. <laughs> I also ended up with another 2,000 followers because of it. That's when I realized I had to do whatever it took to get into your wedding dress one more time. <laughs> Don't tell me that's actually your reason for laying your hands on Coulson. That is the reason, though. As long as I became a bride, I could start wearing a wedding dress, right? So I made my move. I knew that the quicker I got Coulson, the quicker I'd be able to get back in that dress. You're lying. You went along with such a stupid reason as that in order to justify stealing my fiancé? And when it comes to Coulson, both his face is really good looking, and he is a really kind man. Also, considering he came from a really famous university, he'll be able to find himself a well-paying job anywhere. By the way, running away with another woman's man like this is like something out of a cool drama, right? When I tell this story online, I bet you all of my followers will love the content even more and like everything I post on there. You're trying to be the main character from a drama, then? 
I'm over being angry with you now, and I'm, I'm just gonna give up. Make sure to give up on being as ugly as you are as well, please. <laughs> you losing your fiancé like that the day before your wedding was your fault in the first place. If you weren't as ugly as you are, then this would have never had to happen to you. <laughs> huh? And no matter how much of an ugly duckling you were, you were engaged, right? But now, you're to blame for the fact that you could never make yourself look any better for your man and let him go due to the fake love that you had. So you having to lose your man to someone as sexy and cute as me was bound to happen at some point. I kind of feel sorry for you. You were trying so hard to get married even though you have looked like crap forever. And now all of that work has gone to waste because you could never bother with becoming a proper woman. I don't want to hear any of that from you anymore. You are not getting away with your selfish crap this time. I'm sorry, but I think I will be getting away with my crap again. <laughs> sorry for being so damn good looking, Rebecca. Now I have a brand new marriage with Colson to look forward to. And as for that wedding you've been looking forward to tomorrow, it's canceled now. Go ahead and get started on all the work that canceling a wedding requires as you cry yourself to sleep. <laughs> the wedding's been canceled for a while now. What? But man, I never thought the both of you would try so hard to run away from here. Both you and Coulson have been doing a lot of unexpected things this time around. Wait, wait a sec. What are you talking about? You're supposed to be having a wedding tomorrow, right? And you couldn't have canceled it yet because you never even knew that Coulson moved away on you. You're supposed to cancel that wedding starting now, so what are you talking about? Sorry to say this, but I went and canceled the wedding a month ago. I did so while keeping Coulson completely in the dark about all of it. Huh? W why would you go and do something like that? You never once noticed anything going on between Coulson and I, right? Yes, I did never notice that you and him had something going on behind my back. But that doesn't mean I never knew about all the other women Coulson has been going out with behind my back. What? Coulson's been with other women behind your back? Actually, while Coulson's been engaged to me, he's gone out with multiple other women, thinking that I never knew a thing about all of it. He's a real cheating prick. That's why, when I finally realized he wasn't going to let up, I went and canceled our wedding and got all the money I put down on it back. What? I probably should have told him all about that right after canceling, though, right? Then we could have actually had the time to talk about what happened there, and I wouldn't be left behind like I am now. Perhaps I still had some hope that he'd change and only put his focus on me. <laughs> I sort of still believed that there would never be anyone on this planet who could hang on to those lies as much as he did with me. <laughs> but he just never did open up to me any, and that's why we're here now, Katie. Wait, wait a second. Uh, um, he's been cheating on you with other women? Uh, what do you mean? Has he really been cheating on you with as many women as you make it seem? From the ones I've been aware of during our time being engaged to one another, he's been with three separate women behind my back. And if that wasn't bad enough, two of those women are already married. I've already gone and told their husbands about what happened, and they are both going to have to pay some major settlements now. What did you say? But so far, neither one of those women have paid their husbands a dime and are trying to run and hide. So both of those men came to me asking for my help in finding them, so that they could be paid the settlements that they both deserve. What? So those men have been talking with you about it? When they started to want my help, that's when I really started to think about all the crap that Coulson's been doing to everyone. I always knew he was up to some pretty bad things, but I never wanted to really think about how much worse the guy could get. But before I could feel as though that was it, and I'd never have to think about Coulson cheating on me again, or about the families he'd ruined, those men called me asking for help. They told me all about how they needed me to hand them Coulson to see if he knew anything about the whereabouts of their wives. But before I could even approach him, he dodged the questions I had and told me to leave his private business alone, just like the pile of crap bastard he really is. What? That's why, on that day, I canceled the plans for our wedding. That happened just days before I planned to send out all the invitations, so that was a major plus for me. And I never did have to end up explaining why the wedding was canceled to everyone else. As for Mom and Dad and his parents, I plan to tell them the reason for why we will no longer be getting married soon enough. And as for tomorrow, I'll ask them all to come and have a word with me in person. 
I planned to have Coulson there as well for the talks, but just before I could snatch him, he ran. And he ran away with my younger sister, of all people. <laughs> no way. I never knew something like this would be happening. And Coulson never told me a thing. Also, Rebecca, didn't you still do all of that work on your wedding after you said you canceled it? You, you even had the wedding dress all ready for the wedding still. I only learned about him cheating on me with so many women after I went and ordered the dress. And since I bought the dress fitted to me and everything, there was no way for me to return it and get a refund. That's why, instead of handing it off to my wedding planner to hold on to, I kept it in my room. I was thinking, after all of this was over, I'd sell the dress online or something to make some cash back. However, you went and started wearing it all the time without asking me. So, that's how things were playing out? If you really want that cheating bastard so badly, then please go ahead and have him. But before you marry, I'm making sure you both take responsibility for what you've done. I will make sure that both of those men that had their wives cheat on them with Coulson and myself get the money that we deserve for being hurt. I... I don't need a man like Coulson anymore. I... I never thought that he'd be cheating on you with anyone else besides me. Not only are things all messy now, but he hasn't even paid off any of the settlements he has yet. I'm going to leave that man right now and come back home. You can leave him all you want now, but you're still going to have to pay me a settlement after this. What? Why would you still do that? You don't have to come home, by the way, because we're on our way out to see you both now. I never thought that GPS tracking app I had Colson download a while ago would come in handy for something like this. GPS tracking app? You... you had him download an app like that? In order to get as much money from him and a settlement as possible, I needed to make sure I had a lot of evidence regarding his whereabouts. Of course I had stuff from both of those men whose wives Coulson was with, but I would need a lot more evidence for the other girls he had been with besides you and those married women. Oh look, you both are still in the next town over. At Rick Donald's eating? Well, thankfully that's not too far away, so we'll be there for you both in no time. You can really see where the both of us are? Now allow me to explain the rest of what's happened to both Mom and Dad and Coulson's parents. And then, by the time we arrive to grab you both, they will be aware of all the terrible things the both of you have done. And remember, there's no point in running from us anymore. You'll just be wasting more of your energy. <laughs> Are you freaking serious? You're a coward! You put that GPS app on my phone so that you could actually track my every movement? You're a scheming bitch for that! I'm not listening to that from someone who ran away from me the day before our wedding with my little sister. Especially when you haven't even taken any responsibility for your past crimes yet. Did you think acting like a child at your age by running from us would work? Where the hell do you plan to take me to? I was trying to get out of that parking lot with all my speed, yet both of my parents rolled in and grabbed me. They didn't even ask me what happened, instead picking me up and throwing me into the back of their car while taking my wallet off me. Neither of them are telling me anything right now, so tell me where you guys plan on taking me. To somewhere we can have some really good conversations with one another about what's all gone down. I originally planned to have all the discussions tomorrow with everyone involved, but you and my sister jumped the gun and started to run away, so we had to move out quick and choose another location for the talks. I made sure to call on everyone who's been involved in your BS to come out and see us. Everyone involved? Both of our parents, of course, but also both of the men whose wives you were with and that other chick's parents as well. This time, you're not going to get away from any of us, we won't allow it. This is the day that you finally pay everyone for the crimes you've committed, along with my sister. Y no way! You have to be lying, right? Don't worry, Coulson. It's not only going to be you who rots in hell after today. Katie's in the same boat as you are right now, so you both can fall into hell together. What? I made sure to invite all of the people she's been involved with as well today. Sounds like her ex-boyfriend has been asking for her to pay him back for a long time now, so he'll be there. And let's not forget about her other ex, who she stole some money from to cheat on him with. They'll be there, ready to see her. Both of Katie's ex-boyfriends? 
due to the fact that she's a really good-looking girl, she's had a lot of men that she's decided she can do anything she wants with. And plenty of them ended up being tossed aside by her for the next best man, and some of them she was only dating for a day or two. And, well, one of those exes of hers happened to be her old fiancé before she ran away from him. I got a call from him asking for her to give him his money back over and over again. No freaking way! That is why today I invited the both of the men she owes something to to the discussion. I told them that today we'd be having a settlement party, and told them they were more than welcome to join us since she owes them both something as well. And then those two said they wanted to come because she still owes them money, and another three will be there just to watch the drama unfold. <laughs> Five of her ex-boyfriends? I never thought that she had been with so many other men before me! You don't get to say that when you told me you'd never been cheating on me before. Now prepare yourself to arrive at the meeting grounds where everyone has been patiently waiting for you. Make sure to get together all the apologies you have to say before we're there. I can't do this, Rebecca. I don't have any kind of money that will allow me to pay off all these settlements right now. After adding up all of the settlements, I'm going to have to pay around $80,000. There's no way I'll ever be able to pay this all off. You can't be crying over something as small as that. Right now, Coulson's having to pay around three times that amount to all of the people he's hurt and pissed off. You both can marry on the basis that you guys have a lot of debt and will work together to pay it all off. Good luck. Huh? Now that all of this has happened to him and I, you really think that we're still going to end up getting married? No way that's going to happen now. What? You don't plan on getting married still? Well, you both have lost all of your family now, so there's nobody else you two can rely on but each other. Shouldn't you both be happy to still have one another after all the trouble you've caused? I don't want to have such a sad wedding where we've had to bond over our debt. No, thank you. Now that things have become this bad for me, I'm going to have to use my reputation online to help me out. I'm an influencer with over 10,000 people following me on Instagram now, so I'll have all of them help me out this time. All I have to do is make a video of me crying for their help, and there will be at least a thousand of them coming my way. Huh? Are you really planning on using your followers to help you pay off those settlements you got for being a terrible person? You have no clue what I can do. When it comes to us influencers, we have a lot of power in the minds of those we influence. I'll post about how my toxic sister tried to ruin my life by having some of my exes and herself get settlements from me. And then I'll let them know to send money to my bank account in order to save me from you all. <laughs> Something as simple as that post and perhaps a video of me crying will get me loads of money that I'll be able to use to get out of this mess you caused for me. <laughs> what about this post you just made? The comments section is on fire right now and things are not looking good for you. What? Damn. There are already 300 comments on your post after just one minute. And what most of them say are things you wouldn't want to see yourself. All really, really negative things. What? What is this all about? What is going on with all of my followers? I, I've never ever had any comments like this on any of my posts before. What happened to all of my followers that would praise me for the beauty that I am and would fight off all these bad people? Well, as far as I can see, they're nowhere to be found. And rightfully so, considering you posted a timeline of you saying that you just stole your sister's fiance and that you just ran away with him. Of course all of those followers you had before that just followed you for your sexy pics are now in shock over this. No way. This was never supposed to happen to me. I was supposed to get help from all of them telling me I'm in the right and that I'll be okay. And this was supposed to increase the amount of sponsors I got. Re Rebecca, wh what, what should I be doing about all of this? I don't give a damn, you screw up. This is what both of you and that Colson deserve after all the crap you pulled. You both tried to make it as far as you could, doing everything and anything you wanted, so don't start crying now that you've been caught. But, but that's... I... All you guys can do now is take full responsibility for all that bullcrap you guys did. If you start going online and talking about how you're sorry for what you've done, and that you'll pay off all those settlements, then I think your followers will stop making all those terrifying yet funny comments. 
If you'd like to continue being an influencer online, then you need to learn how to not look like total dog crap in the eyes of everyone. Even after I stopped talking with Katie, the comment section on a lot of her posts were raging with angry commenters telling her that she's garbage and that she needs to take her life and all that. Eventually, it all became too much for her to handle, and none of the replies she made to those comments helped, so she went and deleted all of her accounts on everything and shut off her phone. After that, as a way of trying to get some money in order to pay off the settlements she had, she went to all of her influencer friends looking for money, but not a single one of them was willing to help someone on her level. In the end, Katie went and got married to Coulson, who, when compared to her, was in a far worse place dealing with all the same problems. They both would end up working for the same store together in order to make as much money as they could so that they could pay off all the debt they were in. As a way of making sure they wouldn't be able to run away anymore, though, both my parents and Coulson's parents called the store manager and told them those two's situation and said that half of what they earned had to go towards those settlements or else they would need to tell the courthouse about them. And until they've paid every single settlement off, they would have to deal with only making half as much as the rest of the employees there. I really just hope they can last until they've paid everything off so that they can no longer cause trouble for anyone else. Thank you for watching till the end.